Hi, good morning. It's uh, Ian from Sharper Edges. Um, I've had a request this week from Heidi to have a look at uh, how to clean out the 5-in-1 blades on the Wild 5-in-1s. Okay, so it's going to be a quick video and I'll try and make it uh, simple really. So basically, obviously you know how to take your blade off. Okay, so here's the actual blade itself of which you know you've got five settings. The easiest way to do it is obviously get yourself a little brush like this one. Brush off, move your comb, move your cutter up and down. Brush off the comb on the inside so you get all the debris out. Also, if you get some on the inside there, just give it a blowout. Yeah. Then what I do is make sure it's on the highest setting, so the teeth of the cutter are high. And then at the back here, I did. There's a little. See that? All right, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your thumb on that, I'll try and do it upside down, on that and just pull it or press it towards you, okay? So you press it towards you and what that does is it opens the teeth, all right? So the teeth then become open away from the actual comb. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, and then just get yourself a little card, doesn't matter what it is, and then just glide it through in between the teeth and the comb. And what this will do is we'll remove any hair that you've got stuck in there, which will help the actual cutter blade cut against the comb and you'll get a little bit more life out of it putting your sharpening. All right, and all you need to do after that is just get yourself a little bit of oil. Put a few bits of oil on there, a couple of places. You can also put some on the back really if you wish. A little bit in there. Pop it back into your machine. So you can as well put a little bit of grease in there. So a little bit of clip of grease in there if you do have some, it'll just help with the movement. Obviously that moves side by side. So that will help with that. Next thing, clip it onto your, uh, onto your machine. Turn it on, let the oil run into there. Move the, move the cutter up and down a few times. And that is basically it. That's that will get you a little bit more life out of your blade because obviously what happens is hair gets trapped in between the cutter will not touch the comb properly and therefore you will not get an effective cut all right hope that helps cheers bye